All I loves, hope you're well and eating good. Welcome back to my channel. Last week was Feria de Abril, and in true style, I was in my Ankara, you know, just enjoying. And I thought, what better way to celebrate than make some jollof rice? Feria de Abril has women in beautiful flamenco dresses, loads of tents, and drinks, and food. And so, you know, let's make some jollof. So, first, you'll need some bell peppers. You'll also need some chili, so you'll also need some onions. You can use long grain or basmati rice, but I'm going for long grain. And then you'll also need a can of tomatoes. You'll need some maggi, obviously, as I do. You'll also need some thyme, some curry, and tomato paste. Okay, let's get in. The first thing you want to do is blend together your tomatoes, onions and chili. I did slice another onion, so I used two onions, but I will add that to the mixture once it's cooked. So blend that until smooth, I'm using a hand blender, you can use a food processor, whatever you want. Add some oil to a pan, sunflower is what I'm using, and let that get a little hot, okay? Next you want to add in your tomato mixture, and you see how that's bubbling everywhere? exactly what you want so scrape that in make sure you don't waste anything also going to just add a little bit of water as well in the bowl and really this is just like all the nigerian food i tell you guys to cook you just need to let it fry by fry just let it cook down and concentrate basically it takes about 15 20 minutes 30 minutes it depends on your cooker or your tomatoes so you can see it got really thick there and that's after about 10 to 15 minutes after 25 minutes you then want to add in your tomato puree i'm adding a couple tablespoons because i do like it a rich red color you don't have to add this it's absolutely up to you um i'm also going to mix that up okay make sure it's all dissolved in there after that i add some maggie obviously um, you can use chicken stock, vegetable stock. This dish is actually vegan, to be honest. So anyone can make this. It's for everyone to enjoy. Add some thyme and some curry. And, there you go. And some curry powder. And you just want to... Oh, and some salt. I'm adding a little salt because remember we're putting rice in this. So you do want to season it more than you would a stew. Also, look how that is just popping everywhere. This is going to happen when you cook, okay? Just make sure you clean as you go and clean down so it's easier afterwards. Okay, so just stir that around and then add in half of the sliced onions I told you guys about earlier. I like to add half now and then half when I add the rice and just let it steam later on. So stir that and let it cook for a further 15 minutes because the tomato puree needs to cook down. While that's cooking, I just seasoned up some chicken wings to go with. You can have it with whatever you want, garlic powder, onion powder, whatever. So as you can see, it's now a nice deep red color. You can see some of the oil has gone. It's like mixed in with the sauce, which is ready for the rice now. I like to take in about more than half of the mixture because I I feel you don't need that much. And also I like to add it back later on if my rice doesn't take enough color, but I don't have that problem. It depends on the rice you use as well. So add in the rice, which is washed. Always wash your rice, we wash everything here. And give that a nice stir. I did add some water to that as well, just to thin out the sauce. But I don't need to add water yet. It does look very thick, but with long grain, you can steam it. With basmati, you will need to thin out the sauce a bit more, which I'll describe and tell you guys in my blog post. So cover it with foil, add the rest of the onions that I told you guys about. Sorry, my camera wasn't filming, my fault. And then after 15 minutes, it will have steamed enough for you to give it a stir. Always use a wooden spoon when you're making rice dishes. I feel it's just better because it doesn't cut the grains or cause burning. So here I just give it a thorough stir. It's not cooked yet. And I just add a little water because mine was a bit dry. It was getting a bit dry. You know, yours might not need water now, so make sure you do what, you know, your rice needs. Cover with foil and a lid and let it steam for 15 to 20 minutes. After about 15 to 20 minutes, I tucked in the foil. Um, it should look something like this. And honestly, guys, it's so easy. It's delicious. I don't know anyone who doesn't like jollof rice. Make this for a loved one, make this for a party. Enjoy it. 
um, I just let my, don't worry about that big ass onion you just saw. Um, I served Lyman some chicken wings and I really enjoyed this dish guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like and share. Bye.